Welcome back to yet another episode on WGR Garage. Hey, thanks for tuning in, and um, yeah, today's going to be all about the tracker. We got to put that front end, uh, front axle back in this thing, and start kind of final assembling uh, at least the front end. So um, that's what today's all about. Stay tuned. <laughs> got the axle back in um, but at this point I really want to tear into the third member just to pull it out um, I know that sounds weird since the axle was just out of it but I kind of preferred it to be up off the ground just kind of sitting here I don't know this is just my way of thinking um, so I'm gonna pull the third member out or take these apart first both knuckles Pull the shafts out a little bit, pull the third member and see what we uh, see what bearing or what's wrong with the inside of this thing because I can almost not even turn the pinion. Um, it's it's really chunky like a bearings bad or something so we're gonna give that a shot. guys so I took the uh, front end apart and I got multiple chipped teeth on the ring gear so unfortunately uh, pretty much needs a full rebuild um, I just ordered all the parts last night so we'll just wait for those to come in and rebuild the third member I got all new uh, seals and whatever else bearings for the uh, spindles and knuckles and all that good stuff so Everything will be new in the front end. Yay! Okay. 
Okay guys, so on our 85 Toyota front axle, uh, I picked up a trail gear knuckle rebuild kit. So it should have everything in here to uh, rebuild our knuckles properly. So brand new bearings, shims, seals. I already put a new uh, seal in there from, where did I get that from? Marlin Crawlers. So Marlin Crawlers makes a really nice inner axle seal. I got that uh, installed already. So. Um, yeah, just gonna start figuring out how this stuff goes on there and get at least the knuckles on. Okay, I got the knuckle back together basically. Um, it feels really, really good. Uh, new seals back there. Um, just basically new everything. So um, it looks awesome. I'm just waiting on my third member to come back and then I can put the rest, the rest of the axle back together. So um, I got both sides done. I might uh, do kind of like an alignment just on the front knuckle to knuckle area by putting a straight edge on this flange right here, this face, and then that face over there, and then uh, making my setter tie rod. I could probably do that today, or I can go start messing around with the back axle, but I think I might do steering because that seems more fun. So that's where I'm at. Get to work. So we have our center link done and our drag link also installed and right off the bat I really hate these not being in double shear so I know I could probably get away with cutting my misalignments down um, and having it be you know a lot shorter so it's not so much leverage on this point but I'm not going to do that so I'm going to build you know another tab that's somewhat like this and it'll strengthen this point up tremendously I mean it'll be way stronger uh, being in double shear than single shear so I will get to that uh, right now and I know you guys probably don't want to watch it's it's literally just doing the same thing so I'm just gonna break out the plasma table and uh, cut some tabs weld them on add some paint and then um, call it good so that's what I'm going to do, right? All right, that worked out pretty good. So there we go, double shear. Just pretty much exactly like this top one. Um, just repeat it onto the high steer arms. This side turned out pretty cool. Just grab both bolts. 
Um, yeah, so that is done. I tightened everything up. It's uh, time to move on to something else. Well guys, I think it's pretty much ready to pull out the rear end, so I can't do too much more uh, without getting some more parts. So uh, I've been dreading it, but I'm going to pull out the rear end next. So We'll get the uh, tires off of it, get the frame rails on jack stands, and uh, pull this thing out and start painting and prepping for final install. So that's what's up. guys I got a little bit ahead of myself um, I am actually reinstalling the fuel cell right now I have everything painted underneath there so I was thinking to myself like why don't I just put the fuel cell back in it um, so I got it kind of rigged up balancing there off some cargo straps so I can one man install this so uh, I will go get the the base plate for it. it's all painted um, that's like the mount slash armor for the fuel cell, so we'll uh, pop that bad boy in there, and uh, I have to drill and tap one additional hole, and then it will be good. Final install, so I can start actually installing stuff and not having to take it back out. So anyways, that's what is up. Okay guys, everything is painted and ready to go back in. So I'm gonna work on getting this axle lined up in the right spot. I still gotta paint the brake drums on both sides and then um, pretty much do start working on final assembly. So I did move the upper control arm mounts down about three inches and backwards, uh, or I guess more towards the front, front of the vehicle um, to lengthen my upper arm. So I need to cut off the old uh, weld on bungs and weld them onto a new piece that are longer so extend those links out basically so that's what's up and that's what I got left on this video so let's get again <laughs>
Holy smokes. So I've been at it for about two days now, figuring out and capping and finishing the Ender Fender wells on this thing. So if you remember, I took a sawzall and I basically cut the inner fender well out of it because, well, I had to, to make it stretch, you know, to stretch my wheel well out. So it was a challenge and I did not record it just because of how tedious it was and it just wouldn't be a fun video to watch. So, but it is finished. So that is that side. That's the driver's side. Passenger side is done as well. I just have to bondo and try to blend that paint best I can. Uh, it's not a sports car, it's just a tracker. So do the best I can and move on. And then the inside can go back in it. So finally I can put my interior back together. I also made this cover for the fuel cell. So it's ready to go. And we'll cut the carpet around it and this will just kind of be um, protruding up through. So it'll look pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, save that for the next episode though. So. Uh, yeah, as always guys, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, share, 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 share. So I'm trying to get my subscriptions up. Um, yeah, anything helps. So appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.